Welcome back to every chest YouTube channel. Today we're learning how to make this mini draping. Okay, so what you see here on the chest line, we learn how to drape this and also to extend it to the sleeve, whichever way we want it. It's a very simple tutorial and I'm sure you're going to get it right. If this is what you would like to learn, kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. Okay, so we'll be draping this neckline and then this the draping will extend to the sleeve. It's just a mini draping, like an introduction to draping and it is going to be very simple to make. You just need to pay attention to it so to do this you need like either a dress form if you don't have a dress form you can just work with a mannequin with foam like this but a dress form is better and you need pins to hold your drapings together so now i'll be draping on this half shoulder and this with this sweetheart neckline so to do this i'm just going to be bringing in my fabric so this is a fabric of around 20 inches width and the length of this is 60 inches so i'll be using all of this if i have excess when i finish draping i'm going to cut it off because it's better to have more than less okay so this is a dull face fabric and that is what i'm also using on the off shoulder so to do this now i'm just going to put this fabric on fold and then i'm going to notch the center of the fabric which is here so after notching the center i'll detach this from the mannequin and then i'm going to sew it center to center from the mannequin uh, I'll, i'm going to sew it on the off shoulder like this like this so that it can stay like this before i start to drape it but i just don't want us to get confused that's why i decided to show us before i do anything to the bodies okay so now i'll detach this take it to the mannequin and then sew it like this then i'll bring it back so that i can start draping so i've gone ahead to sew the fabric that i want to drape on it like this like i showed us and now we'll start to drape it so i'll be starting from this side so draping is like just pleating it on a dress form it's easier that way because you have a full effect and what you come up with will be something really nice instead of just draping it on a flat pattern remember this is a mannequin that has a full shape of a woman body so this will give you exactly what it is supposed to be like on your client instead of just laying it flat somewhere and draping it there so now with my piece i'll start to pleat it so now i'm just going to fold this like this take my pin and hold it and then fold it again then i'm going to make sure that i'm making it free here you are not folding and you are not folding like this in a way that it will be so tight that you're not give room for you to fold on the other side so when you are folding it you fold it like this and then check that it is free enough before you add your pins so you do that one after the other after doing the first one i'll go over to the second one and then pin it again and then i'll keep doing that so the big the length of your fold and the spaces in between depends on how you want to do it i can also do it in a gathers form like gathering is but this plate is just perfect for me so that is what i'll be going for so you keep doing it like that and then you hold it with your pin pin is very very necessary here you cannot do without pin so now i'm getting to the hand part of it now and I'm, I'm just going to fold in my rough edges like this and then i'm going to pin it so depending on how full you want it to be remember i just used a fabric of length 20 inches so if you want it fuller than this you can do that too and it depends on the style that you want this is the style that was sent to me so you can drape it diagonally like this or whatever it is that you want so after getting this place perfectly now we'll move to the other side and drape it also okay so i'm just going to follow the pleats that i already have here by just using my hand to shape it up and then i'll pleat it also on this side just like i did for the first one so now i've done the first one i'll go over and take the next pleat 
and then remember that i said that you don't make it too tight assuming you made it too tight you'll not be able to have what you have here to so just be dragging it and it will not look nice so i'll keep doing that also i'll pleat it depending on the outcome that you are willing to get okay depending on the outcome that you are willing to get you will keep doing that so you can see that it is really 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 simple even a beginner can do this you just need to pay attention to it okay so if you like to see videos on draping i think this will be like the first draping we'll be doing on this channel so this is like draping 101 our introduction to draping so if you like to see videos like this on the channel let me know in the comment section so that i can put that into consideration okay you can see how i'm using my hand to form the style that i wish to achieve with this okay so that is how you'll be using your hand to just guide it and assist what you are doing and you can see that it is even coming out lovely already i like what i'm seeing and the beauty of this is that because you've not sewn it at all dripping gives you the opportunity to check what you are doing so maybe as you are doing it you don't like what is giving you you can easily remove your pins and redo it again Okay, so it gives room for correcting your mistake easily. You don't need to. So the last one now, I'm folding it over now so that the rough edges will not be seen also. And then I'm going to drape it and then I'll pin it. So you can see how lovely what we have here is looking. And like I said, this is not the only style that you can do. You can form any style that you wish to form with this and if you even want this to drop down more you just need to release it very well so that it can drop down a bit for you it depends on what you are doing so now i'll be going over with my thread and needle and then use that to tack it on the side okay so now this is the drapes that we have now to tack it i'm just going to pass my needle and thread like this and then I'm going to use that to tack it on the side. So I'll just bring the camera closer so that we can see what I'm doing very well. So now carefully to tack it, I'll just be removing the pins one after the other. And then I'm going to lift this a bit and then pass it from behind. And tack it very, very neatly in a way that it is not going to show. So when you are tacking it, you try to lift it up so that you don't tack with your dress form like this. You just tack on your fabric, okay? And then since there are drapes there, you can try to make sure that your tackings are inside the drapes. So that you'll be sure that by the time you leave it, the drape is going to cover up where you are tacking. So I'm done tacking the first one now. I'm going to remove the, the, um, the pin. And then I'm going to pass it to do my second tacking. So now I can easily just bring this down a bit. Tack it in on that same spot. And then I can then cover it up with the next drip. But before even covering it up, you can see that you cannot see where I tagged. Okay. So you should do a very neat job. Then I'm going to remove the next pin also. Bring this down a bit. Tack it and then making sure that i'm not tacking my mannequin with it so i've dipped one finger inside here so that that is going to guide me on where i am tacking you cannot tack it because if you tack it with your mannequin it means you have to start over again you need to use your seam ripper to cut that off so that is how you're going to tack it you keep tacking it like that till you finish what you're doing I hope you understand what I'm doing now. Okay, so I'm just tacking it. Then after doing it on this side, I'll repeat everything that I've done here on the other side so that I can remove my pin and then work on the sleeves. So when you tack it to the end like this, 
you just try to knot it so i'm just going to bring it out to the other side like this and then try to tie a knot around there to secure it so after tacking it like this if you don't mind showing your seam line you know your tacks have already held it for you so you can decide to take this to your machine and then sew it like this just to brace it but this is not compulsory this is entirely dependent on what you want okay so now i'm going to tie this to secure it and then i'll cut off my needle and then we'll move to the next thing we want to do okay so i'm done tacking this now i can see that i've removed my pin on both sides and my drapes are still there so now you can decide to sew it like i said if you want but it is not compulsory so this is what it's looking like on your full pack so if you want your drape to just be on the bodies like this you just need to trim off the excess that you have here and then you can either sew in your sleeve or you turn the ham hole if you are working with a tube dress but the tutorial that was sent to me this drape continues to the arm area to the sleeve so but this mannequin doesn't have a sleeve a, a hand so i'm just going to be transferring it to another mannequin that has a hand and then i can drape it so that i can continue with attaching my sleeve to this transferred it to a mannequin with arm but this mannequin is actually not pinnable so it may be a bit challenging my dress form is not here so but it's possible we're just going to try to show us how we can extend this to form a sleeve so now the leftover here that i have i'm just going to pleat it you can follow the regular pleats that you already have you can see the way i'm just taking them together and then i'm pleating it like this so once you have something really neat and smooth make sure you take your time remember i'm just doing this for illustration purpose so i may be rushing it a bit but you need to arrange it well so that you have something really nice so once you have something really nice you're going to be taking it to the back through the ham that is why i need a hand okay let me shift it back so that we can see so now you take it to the back through the ham like this depending on how you want it to be on the ham if you want it to drop down you do that whatever it is that you want to do you can actually even do this part on your client so that you know how it's going to fit so now once you take it around the ham you take it to your back ham hole like this and then you continue your drapes you hold it with your pin but like i said this mannequin that i have is not pinnable so i'm just going to be holding it with my hand so you pin it to your hand and then you sew it to the ham hole okay so this part here you can actually sew it here then you cut off the excess i hope you understand what i'm saying so now you've taken it to the ham and you've seen where it is so here you can sew it you can first tack it with your needle and thread then you cut off the excess and then you sew this part to your ham hole if you want it to stop around your ham hole if you want it to extend up to where your center back is you just need to continue to pleat it like that and then once you get to your center back you find a way to neatly tuck it in and then you sew it you cut off this excess and then you sew it to the center back so that you have something really neat like this and the front is going to look like this okay so now i'm going to try to do this so that i can show us what the finished look is okay so i just want to show us what i'm doing you can see i just arranged it a bit here and then i'm trying to pack it with my needle and thread so that it can be easy for me to sew okay so that is what you are trying to do once you tack it with needle and thread it's going to stay for you and then you can sew it to your ham hole like this so it makes the work a bit easier for you so now that i've successfully tagged this like this you can see this is what it is look like it will look like on the sleeve so now i'm just going to be sewing this to this ham hole this is the back ham hole so now this tagged sleeve that i have here 
is what I'll be sewing to this ham hole now. So I'll take this to the sewing machine now and then sew it, then I'll bring it back to show us what we have. Okay, so as you can see now, I've gone ahead to tack it on the arm hole area. Remember, this is the arm hole, okay? So I've tacked it on the arm hole area here, and this is what it looks like. You can see. So you just need to sew it to your arm hole, like you normally sew your basic sleeve. I hope you can see this well now. Okay, so it has been sewn here to the arm hole, and this is what it is looking like. So you do the same thing you did to the first one to the other sleeve also and then you have your complete outfit it's really really lovely and very simple to make let us know in the comment section if you enjoyed this tutorial and subscribe to our channel if you haven't and click on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime we upload new videos so another quick tip you can do here is to maintain these pleats you can just tack it a bit from the inside just tack it here and there but make sure that whatever you do is very very neat okay so see you in the next one bye